We are talking Deep Fear, directed by Marcus Adams. Now, when I first heard about this movie, I actually thought it was the long gestation Grey Fear shark movie that I had kind of seen a uh, poster of years ago, but it isn't anything to do with that. Instead, this actually is more of a cocaine shark movie than the actual kind of cocaine shark movie, which had nothing to do with cocaine or really sharks. But this one's called Deep Fear. Weird. Anyway, now, is this really even a shark movie? I have to be honest with you, not really, but I still actually enjoyed this more than I thought I would. So it focuses on this kind of female uh, sailor who kind of sails around a yacht and does kind of charter visits and things like this. And uh, she's out on the sea one day and she's kind of told by her kind of, uh, you know, people that she knows uh, inland that there's a storm coming her way. But before the storm hits, she sees a couple of people uh, in the water in distress. So she kind of rescues them. Um, but as we learn pretty soon on, these guys are not just out on a pleasure cruise. They're actually drug smugglers uh, who are hauling a load of cocaine and uh, want this uh, woman now to go and retrieve their cocaine. And of course, we have sharks in the area, uh, one of which ends up kind of uh, chowing down on some cocaine hit your cocaine shark. Now that's obviously um, was a little bit of a meme during the kind of the uh, the cocaine bear movie release and there was actually kind of cocaine uh, having you know being kind of washed up at that kind of same sort of time. So it was a kind of a flash in a pan for a, a hot minute there. Now what do we think about this movie? Like I said I don't think this is really a shark film. This is kind of like a crime thriller with some shark scenes in it rather than an actual kind of shark film. There's the the actual kind of uh, primary threat here is actually drug dealers and um, you know we have that kind of secondary threat where there is sharks in the water. So it's more of a kind of crime thriller than a shark film but uh, you know, there's a reasonable amount of kind of shark action in it. Um, I do think it gives this movie, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword, but the plot of the movie is kind of interesting because it's, it has more of a human angle to it. It's not just people get, you know, stranded out in the ocean and have to survive. We do have that conflict with the kind of our, our human uh, kind of adversaries as well. It gives it a kind of like a, you know, more drama to a certain degree. Now, on the flip side of this, this is kind of what the sci-fi channel or asylum movies do. They kind of have human conflicts, so they don't have to kind of spend the money on having more VFX shots with the kind of the shark in this case, or whatever the monster is in these kind of like low budget films. They pad out the running time with kind of human drama. And I would say that's kind of what this movie does, but nonetheless, I still feel, I, I still found the, um, the, the kind of the setup interesting, uh, partially because we have a deliciously evil female uh, human villain in this one, who, you know, we, often films tend to shy away from making kind of females truly bad. They tend to sort of like, if you ever get a female bad guy, they have some kind of redemptive arc more than often, more often than not. But this one, we have a truly evil uh, female villain here who chews the scenery. And we actually get a little bit of kind of um, characterization with her and her kind of uh, peers, she might say, which kind of, you know, gave them a little bit of depth. So I actually kind of quite like that. So I actually didn't mind so much that this movie isn't necessarily a straight kind of shark attack film and is more of a kind of a thriller and partially because we've seen so many shark movies to this point it's that it does give this one a little bit of point of difference and I and I feel the characters were relatively kind of well well kind of put together if that makes sense um you know so it wasn't too bad in regards to an actual plot, I have to say. I thought it was relatively interesting. There is some silly moments and there's some kind of illogical moments. Uh, but, the, but the basic plot, I would say, the basic plot structure is kind of interesting. And like I've said, it is kind of that uh, more of a subdued version of the cocaine shark kind of, uh, um, you know, hype. So the shark VFX, and they are CGI. 
I have to say the actual rendering of the sharks themselves are actually reasonable. Uh, the sharks are kind of like, design-wise, look fairly kind of good. For, certainly for a low-budget movie. I think the animation on them was a little lacking, if I'm honest, but the actual kind of like the the models, the 3D kind of like representations of sharks, um, it, the, on the VFX side of things, were actually, they looked okay. And there was some reasonable actual kind of attack sequences. Um, not loads, if I'm honest, but when we do see it, it's not like just blood in the water and bubbles. We do see a good, um, a couple of decent kind of sequences where we actually have these kind of shark attack sequences. Um, so that was all pretty good. On a kind of just a technical level, I think it's a relatively kind of well put together movie. It looks kind of quite kind of, uh, uh, you know, like it's genuinely out in the kind of the, the sea. And obviously we have this kind of, um, you know, beautiful kind of, you know, kind of backdrop of the kind of the, the open ocean and things like this. Um, so, you know, I think it's a, a, a relatively well paced film in regards to its kind of how the kind of the plot unfolds and things like, you know, and things like that. And, um, you know, you, these, these kind of our human villains do seem genuinely kind of villainous, especially when you consider our main protagonist has actually saved their lives initially, but they seem not particularly grateful. So let me just kind of reiterate some of the things I don't think work. I think some of the, although the VFX are, look okay, the animation of it isn't too, isn't too kind of good, to be honest with you. I think the actual concept of having this um, cocaine adult shark is kind of wasted. I mean, it, it, we see an instance where it kind of ends up eating this cocaine because we have someone kind of uses it as a kind of a shield, but there's nothing really that comes of it. The shark doesn't go crazy. It doesn't really do anything that it wouldn't do anyway, if that makes sense. So I feel the concept here, it only really dipped his toe and it wasn't, it's not like Cocaine Bear, which is perhaps why they haven't kind of led into it as much. Yes, we have a, a shark eating cocaine, but it doesn't really have any actual kind of bearing. It could have not eaten cocaine and the movie would have played out exactly the same and the shark acted just like a kind of regular shark after that. So I think the concept of that was a little bit of a waste, to be honest with you. Um, I have to say, although I kind of like the characterization, I don't think the acting is particularly solid here. Um, there is some quite, you know, cringy line delivery at times, and there's like some of the kind of the uh, the actual dialogue that is written is is quite poor. For example, there's a, you know, there's a sequence where her boyfriend, who's kind of inland, is like oh my god, I've forgotten this was the date that your parents died and things like this. And he's saying it to us, so we as the audience know that, but it doesn't sound like kind of natural dialogue and things like this. Um, there's a couple of kind of like just illogical sequences. Uh, we have our, you know, without spoiling anything for you here, when we have an underwater sequence, we have our, our primary protagonist kind of underwater trying to recover the cocaine then we have one of the bad guys in the water with her and one of the bad guys tries to kind of like essentially kind of kill her but instead of just taking her oxygen off he just kind of knocks her in the head and just leaves her and like why wouldn't you just take the oxygen off her you know if you wanted to kill her that's what you would do surely but he doesn't do that because obviously we need we need our protagonist to kind of survive and things like that there's a, I like our kind of our female um, antagonist, this kind of villainous woman, but what they end up doing at the very end is a little bit kind of cheesy and kind of silly, ultimately. And as I've mentioned, this movie is positioning itself really to be a shark attack movie, when that's really a B-plot rather than the kind of the main focus of the story here. Um, and then the other thing I would say, last kind of critique really, our, our main protagonist, I mean, she's very, very glamorous. And, you know, if you think of real life kind of female, um, you know, sailors and people who kind of go on the, these kind of yachts and things, it's not really quite typical. And even the fact that she's in and out of the water all the time, but on this boat, she has like full kind of like makeup all the time. Yes, I know it looks glamorous. I know it kind of like, she's, you know, she's attractive and all of that, but it's a little bit silly. And I think that's the thing with this film overall. I mean, the movie I think is, is a serviceable kind of thriller. 
with some okay kind of shark sequences and the, with the reasonably developed characters. But it has these silly kind of like B-movie moments where it just kind of like isn't really all that kind of realistic at any point. It ends up being a little silly, it ends up being kind of a little hokey and some of the ideas were underdeveloped. That being said, considering how many shark movies we've reviewed on this channel, I actually think this one is probably slightly cut above the rest because there is a little bit more to it. So I will give this one a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Please do leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.